Mulatu Teshome is the president of Ethiopia. He lived and studied in China for 12 years and is still very attached to the country. He is a witness of China-Africa friendship, as well as a true friend of the Chinese people. Any student uh, of Ethiopia going to China to pursue his education, uh, after graduating and coming back to his country or her country, can be accounted for as a, a true bridge uh, of uh, friendship between the two countries. In 1976, when he was 21, Mulatu studied Chinese at Beijing Language University. He was a good student and could speak Chinese with his friends after only six months. The teachers were extremely helpful. The teachers were not letting us go till we memorized the whole new vocabularies. Our very eagerness to uh, to know the culture, the people, and the language that uh, are all very fresh in my mind. One year later, Mulatu was admitted to the Department of Philosophy at Peking University. He then switched to international politics and got a master's degree and a doctorate. That's how he laid the foundation of his future. The overall world outlook is sharpened uh, through the processes which I have passed through. Through reading not only the literatures of uh, the contemporary uh, politics, international politics, uh, philosophy, uh, economics, so and so forth, but also from the objective realities where we were supposed to, uh, to live. In 2013, when Mulatu became the fourth president of Ethiopia, he named China for his first official visit abroad. A few months later, he paid a state visit. Chinese President Xi Jinping held a welcoming ceremony in his honor, and the two leaders held talks. The quest for uh, international peace and security, it is in the interest of the European, it is in the interest of the People's Republic of China. In 2014, a Chinese medical team came to Ethiopia and performed more than 300 free cataract operations. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang and President Mulatu visited all the patients. In 2015, the China Railway Group built the first tramway in the capital, Addis Ababa, making it a modern city in terms of urban transport. President Mulatu wishes to deepen Sino-Ethiopian cooperation in all fields. When it comes to protecting the environment, uh, when it comes to seeking to have uh, economic development, and, uh, to have uh, eradication of poverty, uh, we are in the same line of thought. So the, 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 these are areas where we can, the two countries can work together.